Dear students, welcome back to the course on organizational behavior, individual dynamics in organization. So today we move to the last lecture of module 6, where we look into values at workplace, specifically person organization fit. I am Dr. Abraham Salisek. I am an assistant professor at the School of Business, Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. So in the beginning of this course itself, I had mentioned that what distinguishes it from other courses in organizational behavior or OBM, Organizational Behavior Management specifically, is that this course is grounded in sound empirical research. So in the previous lectures of module 6, we have looked into values, the need for values, different values specifically. We have looked into how values play a vital role in your performance in organization, how you are perceived in the organization, how you are looked upon, how you are acting as different person altogether in terms of your performance in organization. We have also looked into the relevance of values in terms of how, how they are the detrimental factor sometimes, how are they the determining factor sometimes. So all these parameters we have looked into uh, specifically with respect to the values in organization. Today we look into uh, the research behind uh, values at workplace. What, what are the defining research? What are the, the seminal papers with respect to values at workplace? Today's theme of lecture would be person organization fit can be seen from two perspectives, that of others and from ourselves. For that matter, any perspective can be uh, seen from uh, these two perspectives. Any, any concept can be seen from these two perspectives. But uh, when we look into person organization fit, specifically what we as an individual, we as an employee, we as a person who is working for an organization have a person organization fit, a perception for that matter, how the organization or the third party looks into the whole picture that is also relevant. So straight away we move into per person organization fit. The person organization fit essentially argues that people are attracted to and selected by organizations that match their values and they leave organizations that are not compatible with their personalities. Many a time we see that there is a work which we enjoy doing, there is an organization climate which we are happy with, working with, there, is, there are certain co-workers which are very soothing, are very pleasing, they are very uh, you know, cordial to work with, but there is something with respect to the organization in toto, in general, that is not matching with our personality. This is where the person organization fit becomes relevant. This is where the criticality or the importance or the vitality of personality as a factor, as an antecedent in determining the person organization fit comes into picture. Research on person organization fit has also categorically looked into whether person's value match with that of the organization culture. This is something which we have seen over uh, the previous lectures that how the values are congruent with the organization culture, how the values are in line with the organization culture. So this match predicts that job satisfaction, commitment to the particular organization and low turnover are effectively the outcomes of a good person organization fit. You feel a sense of belongingness, you feel a sense of ownership to that particular organization and that makes the person organization fit all the more relevant. So let's look into two main dimensions of person organization fit. The first one being the value based fit. When you're looking into person value fit or organization value fit, what are the set of values? Because we have had a detailed understanding in terms of values or you can always uh, refer back to the previous lectures in terms of values. We have to understand how the person values fit or how the organization values fit. So basically when you are looking into, let's say you, your values are honesty, your values are integrity, you, you are a person who is more transparent in nature, is the organization reciprocating in a similar way? Is the organization having a complementary approach towards your values? That is vital, that is critical. Similarly, there is a second uh, dimension altogether to, do, to this is that person organization cultural fit. Person culture fit, organization culture fit. Many a time you feel that you, you are coming from a different uh, cultural orientation. You are coming from a different perspective in terms of culture. 
is the organization embodying that uh, that culture or is the organization at least receptive open to your culture is the is the organization actually willing to take willing to accept your culture in its entirety this is what makes the person organization fit all the more relevant we sometimes in 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 your organization you sometimes would have felt that there is something which is lacking in terms of the 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 cordiality between the employees maybe this is because your values are not matching with the the entire set of values of the organization or there could be a possibility that your values are not in in sync with the organization values there could be also situations where let's say the person as such is not behaving or is not uh, reciprocating the desired behavior that the higher management is uh, looking for so this might be certain or these this might be certain reasons that are being uh, listed out as a, a certain incongruence that is emerging out and that is that is creating dissatisfaction that is leading to turnover that is leading the person to decide on or look upon other alternatives as a workplace so these are some of the dimensions of person organization fit we have uh, you know discussed the importance of person uh, job fit similarly we look into the person the importance or the relevance of person organization fit the first one is job satisfaction there is there is no doubt there is no denying the fact that if the person is a uh, fit in terms of the organization he chooses or is right fit in terms of the workplace there is job satisfaction we we are not looking into any other options in terms of uh, where anywhere else we are going to work or we are not even thinking of any any plans sooner to shift the organization because we are well satisfied we are happy that the organization is the organization that i wanted to work in in terms of the value congruence in terms of the the cultural fit etc another important aspect could be organizational commitment the moment i think that i am part of the organization there is a sense of belongingness with the organization i feel that i am committed to the organization many a time you you move to a different organization you, maybe because of uh, the the remuneration maybe because of uh, the 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 career progression that the job could offer but you feel that there is lack of commitment after all these benefits that the organization is showering upon you you feel that you are somewhere disengaged with the work you are somewhere disengaged with the organization toto the thing could be organizational commitment you feel that you are satisfied but you are not able to render 100% of your 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 uh, talents your skills your abilities to that particular job because you are uh, having a issue with the person organization fit another important aspect could be the outcome the performance and the productivity sometimes you feel that the the, the point has already been discussed but i would like to reiterate this that there are situations in your organization when when you feel that it's very hard to cut the the time duration let's say your job is from let's say 9 to 6 it's very hard that you see the clock running it's it's very hard that every single hour passes like like years but sometimes there are there are jobs which you feel that you know you enjoy doing and the moment you come in you see that suddenly it's it's a time to go back so this 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 fast pace is mainly because of your passion your likability or uh, your uh, affection or affiliation or attraction towards a particular job there could be also an outcome of reduced turnover you are more interested you are more inclined there is a right fit that has happened and you don't want to leave the job and an ultimate consequence being that there is a reduced turnover positive work environment you would sometimes feel that you are the right person and similarly the, your co-employee also feels that he or she is the right person uh, for the particular job there's a group that decides or group that uh, let's say reminisces or the group that uh, has the idea in the mind that they are the right fit for the particular job so all this creates an underlying sense of ownership a sense of belongingness which creates in turn a positive work environment so this is also vital in terms of a uh, person organization fit and another important aspect could be innovation and creativity you are starting with a blank screen you are starting with a uh, fresh slate 
you are starting with fresh ideas. You are flushed with good, fresh ideas. So that will be the breeding ground of innovation. That would be the breeding ground of creativity, creative potentials. There, there is a lot of potentialities that could be deciphered in those environments. So for that, the precursor being person organization fit. So that underscores the relevance or the importance of person organization fit. Now let's specifically look into some research that has happened in nature of or person organization fit or the PO fit. When person organization fit emphasizes the importance of fit between employees and work processes and the importance of creating an organizational identity through the institutionalization of consistent values that permeate an organization culture. So basically here we look into a set of core values, a set of values which are institutionalized that becomes in turn the, the cornerstone of the organization's culture. When you look into serious job applicants, when you look into uh, the people who are looking for jobs, they are likely to demonstrate much concern about choosing the most appropriate organization for them to work for them as much as the most appropriate job for them to work. This is a, this is a point that you have to ponder. When you, when you are looking for a job, sometimes there are certain extrinsic factors that motivate you to take up a job. But sometimes you also as a person, as a job seeker, you look into the situation. You look into not only the job, whether the organization is a right fit for me. You look into situations where you feel you know, satisfied, you feel contented, you feel happy to be part of that organization. Sometimes there could be force fit arrangements which might not last longer. So many a time being a job seeker, the primary aspect could be to look into and get into a good job. But there could be also factors where you certainly look into the organization, whether organization is a right fit. Organization is a right fit for me. That is where PO fit becomes more relevant. The person organization fit becomes more relevant. So the priority is to seen to have shifted from conventional models, which are primarily based on KSAs, the knowledge, skills and abilities for jobs, to hiring for organizational compatibility as manifest through a fit between an individual's personality, beliefs and values and the organization's espoused culture, norms and values. So, so if you look into the, the, the shift that has happened, I am I'm giving the source of this, uh, the paper also, where you can see and understand this research work. When you look into the the traditional, the conventional job hunting and job matching process, it was more of your KSAs matching the TDS, the knowledge, skills and abilities matching the task uh, duties and responsibilities of the work. But things have changed. Now people look into whether the individual personality, beliefs, values which we embody matches with the organization's espoused culture norms and values. This matching is also becoming all the more relevant when you are looking into new jobs. So PO fit has gone into a different orbit and it, it has taken a new turn. Rather than just focusing on KSAs, the employees or the job seekers are more critical and more, uh, you know, they give more importance to the personality, beliefs, values matching with the culture, norms and values of the, the particular organization in general. When we look into the impact of person organization fit on employee job performance, the organizations, if they effectively analyze actual situation and real values and culture that we have already uh, talked about, then action plan can be developed to minimize distance and increase people's POF. So basically the person organization fit is all the more critical when the real values and cultures are becoming the organization if 
the organizations, if they effectively analyze actual situation and real values and culture, the action plan should be or can be developed to minimize the distance and increase people's person organization fit. So the compatibility between the values of individual and organization reflect the people better fit with the organization while leaving or while having more responsibilities. So this is becoming more critical. It is not that the people or the individuals are running away from more responsibilities. They are accepting more responsibilities, but in the condition that there will be a better fit with the organization. So employees shall feel more, more comfortable and dedicated in organizations where the values are aligned with the organizational values. A point which we are being making from, from the lecture one of value of uh, this particular module. So there should be a situation where their values, the employee values are in alignment with the organizational values. So the satisfaction among the employees increases, which leads high job uh, performance and which in turn becomes the key, the cornerstone for a better organizational outcome. So when there is a good match between the values of employees and values of organization, we see that the employees are satisfied, the employees are happy, there is a sense of belongingness that, that is there within them and they tend to be part of that organization or they tend to take pride in being part of the organization and they themselves start working more. The performance increases, the productivity increases, and the outcome obviously increases. So let's look into personal organization fit from a different research angle. When you look into personal organization fit, it can be seen from the two perspectives. And this is where we come to the theme of our lecture today, that of others and of ourselves. So every single aspect could be seen like that, but similarly, a person organization fit as a concept has to be observed, has to be understood without doubt from others as well as our perspective. The difference between actual and perceived fit is important, it is vital, but it is the perception of the employee that is likely to be the ultimate influence on long term career decisions. So the individual is at the center point, the individual is at the decision making the epitome. So he has to be, the individual is at the decision making epitome. So he has to be or she has to make the right decisions in terms of the PO fit. So organizations seek to communicate values through formal and informal means thus providing additional information to individuals about the extent to which they fit into the broader organizational environment. So when you are looking into the situation of uh, the organization person fit, the PO fit, basically you tend to get cues from the organizational environment, whether you are the right fit for the job, whether you are the right fit for the particular uh, the activity or the position which you are uh, being uh, placed on or you are using on. So based on an evaluation of these information availability, individuals can determine the extent to which they perceive themselves as a fit in the organization. So when you look into the values in general, when you look into the values in particular, there are two things which are becoming critical. One is person job fit, which we discussed in our previous lecture. Another important aspect which we emphasize today is person organization fit. So when you're looking into PO fit, person organization fit, we have to specifically look into situations from our perspective as well as the organization perspective. In other words, sometimes I would feel that I am the right fit for the organization, but the organization would feel otherwise. Our organization would be thinking in other sense. That situation could be dangerous. Similarly, organizations might be thinking that the individual is the right fit for the particular organization, but the individual might not be having uh, or might not be in the same page that situation is also critical or that situation is also dangerous. So please understand when you are looking into PO fit, when you are discussing person organization fit, when you are trying to introspect whether you are the right fit, of, fit for the organization, these two elements from our point as well as the organization's point, the other's viewpoint, these two, the congruence of these two points is the, is the most critical aspect which 
determines whether you are or there is the correct PO fit that is happening within the available circumstance. So thank you for listening to me patiently in this lecture. We'll see you with another module in the next class. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.